If you're Jewish, have you ever wished that you could make your own kippahs? I have a free tutorial on my website with a template or in my Etsy shop, So With Tara Reed, it combines my two favorite things, fabric and Cricut machines. Instead of cutting 12 pieces, six for the outside, six for the inside, by hand for each kippah that you wanna make, you can let your Cricut machine do the cutting while you do the sewing and get to work. But before we get started, my name is Tara Reed. I'm an artist and a fabric designer with Riley Blake Designs. So make sure you have hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so YouTube knows that you wanna know every time I post a new tutorial, which you do. And now let's get into it. The free pattern and the Cricut pattern come with a printed template and you wanna make sure that this line is one inch to make sure you have this printed the correct size. So you're just gonna cut that out with scissors. Each kippah is going to need six of these, six from the front for the outside and six for the inside. And this, the point is going to be the top of the head. So it curves like this. So this is coming down. So if you have directional fabric like this, this is from my new Hanukkah Nights fabric collection from Riley Blake Designs. You're going to make, want to make sure you position your pattern correctly for the direction of the fabric. And one thing that's nice about doing it by hand is that you can fussy cut or put it, put the design exactly where you want it. So I want this one to be centered on here. So I'm going to put that right there, pin that down and cut that out. So for the outside, you can get really creative and precise if you fussy cut each of the six designs. It does obviously take a little bit longer. But let's do this one and see how this one looks. So look how cute that is. We will lose a little bit of that candle with the seam allowance, but otherwise it's framed really nicely in that space. Now, if you wanna cut them a little faster, you can. You just, again, need to pay attention to the direction. So we could take and cut a strip. I'm gonna to work to kind of have these menorahs be on each of them. So I'm just doing it as a little bit wider than the design. Then we can stack these. Well, that will give us one, two, three, four. Okay, let's get one more. So we can just get the whole outside of this one knocked out. So the most important thing is that when you stack them, you make sure they're all pointing this way towards the tip. So you don't wanna have one this way or it's gonna be upside down when looking at the person's head. Because I'm doing so many, I'm going to pin this together better. Make sure I have all three corners nicely secured. Well, that is a lot to cut at once, but we're gonna see how that works. All right, so this is the one we were really specific about where we put the pattern. And then these, we made sure they're all going the right direction, but not as precise about where it cut. That's how it will go together. So you might wanna alternate the gold and the silver. So that, those are the pieces for the outside and why you do need to pay attention if you're using directional fabric. So now whichever way you look at this from a man's head, the menorahs are all facing towards the center. Pattern for Cricut files. You get six different SVG files all set up for you. The top three are for when you use directional fabric. You'll notice they're all facing the same direction. The skinny part is the top. That's what goes to the center of the man's head. And then these three are for if you're using a solid color or non-directional fabric. You can cut more on each of your mats, but if you use the bottom ones with directional fabric, half of your designs are going to be upside down, not ideal. I have already loaded the directional design to cut six pieces or nine pieces with directional fabric. And this is set up perfectly for you to go onto a 12 inch mat. So you don't have to do anything, just put it in there. So you're gonna use this one if you're cutting odd numbers of kippahs. So if you're gonna make three, then you would do this because this is basically gonna be enough shapes for one and a half sides. You need six for the front, six for the back. You're gonna click make it so it fits on the mat. Go down here and click continue. Now we're gonna set our base material and I'm going to choose cotton because that is what I'm using. And then it's gonna tell you what to do. I need to go and load the rotary blade to cut fabric and push go and it's a go. 
If you have a Cricut machine, you can speed up the process of cutting the pieces for your kipa or yarmulke, however you call it, by using a fabric grip mat and cutting your fabric with your Cricut. So you can buy the SVG files in my Etsy shop. And let me just show you how quickly this works. So because this is directional fabric, we can either cut six or nine on a 12 inch mat. If it was non-directional, we could cut more and I have them set up for either way, whether you have directional or non-directional. So please pay attention to whichever one you choose. So you're going to center the fabric on the mat and use a brayer to make sure that it's really stuck down well. See a little bubble there, came out. That gets all the air bubbles out. Make sure it's stuck and so that the Cricut machine can do its thing. And you, when you wanna make sure direction is this way because that's the way your files are going to be set up to cut. And cut six if you're only making one. If you're gonna make an odd number, you could use the template that does nine out of a 12 inch mat. So you would cut one, basically enough of the shapes for one and a half kipas at a time. You can also use this longer mat. Turn it sideways so you can see it all. This is 12 by 24. And for non-directional, you can cut out 24 at a time. And for directional fabric, you can cut out 18 at a time. And I did the same thing. This is a Star of David, which it's sort of directional, but you could use it either way. I'm just gonna get that down and brayer it. Now, if you skip this step with fabric, it's probably not gonna cut very well because the fabric's gonna lift a teeny bit as the blade goes through it. And there are a lot of cuts to get all of these, whoopsie, to get all of these out of there. So if that happens, you're just gonna lift and smooth that out. Okay, so that is ready to put into our machine. To cut fabric, you do need this rotary blade. It's just a big round knife, kind of like a rotary cutter, but mini for Cricut. So I'm just going to pop my regular blade out put in my rotary blade and now that is all set we already put our fabric on this 12 by 24 mat feed that in and then press the blinking cricket button and let it do its thing now comes the fun part getting it off the mat so i always pull from the corner and get all of the surrounding fabric pulled up first. And there will be some threads. This is just part of the deal. And then I recommend starting at the top. Just use a spatula or the little tweezers and just grab them up one by one. I think this print is perfect for the inside or for every day and non, not just Hanukkah. I think this was the first time I used this mat. So you'll notice it doesn't have any shapes other than what we just cut, but it does have some of these threads. We need to make sure we get them off of there. The bigger ones, I usually scrape up and pick up because if you leave all this lint, and these pieces of threads on here, then your mat isn't going to work well. Your fabric isn't going to lay straight. When your blade is cutting, it's gonna run into extra stuff other than the fabric you're wanting to cut at the time. So you wanna do that. And then the next secret weapon, baby wipes. And I always store them face down so that the liquid that's in them is going to be in the wipe that I'm grabbing first and not all stuck at the bottom. Just gonna take a baby wipe and rub pretty hard. And you wanna do this every time. So now if I was gonna cut another 12 by 24, I would be ready to go, but I am not. So I will just put the clear film back on there and protect it for my next fabric project with a really long piece of fabric.